Hello everyone, Miss D here. Today I just want to go over some of the information that we covered in class. Okay, first of all, I want to show you how to add numbers together when they're not in a row or a column. Okay, so we're going to put our mouse or insertion mark in cell F6. And then we're going to put in our formula. So our formula always begins with an equal sign. Now, you do not have to use sum when you're adding. I just like to use sum. So I'm going to use sum, open paren, okay? It's equal sum, open paren. Click on the first number that you want to add together. On your laptop or on your desktop, hold down the control key and then click on all the other numbers that you would like to add together and then on the last number release your control key from your keyboard and press enter and you have the correct result to check your result all you have to do is click back into cell f6 go to your formula bar and make sure that you added all the numbers together all the cells together actually um, and when you see the commas you know that it's adding okay so click on enter and you have the correct result now we're going to uh, click in cell C18. We're going to add this particular column together. So again, every formula begins with the equal sign, so it's equal. And I use the word sum. You do not have to use it. Open paren, equal sum, open paren. And you can add by clicking all the numbers you want to add together, highlighting them and clicking on those, and then enter. Or, let me show you an easier way to do this. And this is the way I usually do it. I click in the cell where I want the results. I go up to my ribbon, which this is your ribbon in Excel. And this is your group. Okay? All your commands are, are um, ordered in a group. So you go up to where you see auto sum. And you click on all of sum and you click on sum and it will add everything for you and press enter on your keyboard okay so that's an easier way to do it so you may find that to be the best way for you either way you will have the same results okay so let's go to cell e19 i mean e18 okay so we're going to subtract so it's equal sum open paren and I'm moving my um, insertion mark out the way my mouse out the way here so you can see it's equal sum open paren I'm going to click on the highest number I'm going to press minus on my keyboard I'm going to click on the next number and I'm clicking minus on my keyboard and I'm clicking on the next number and then I'm pressing enter to get the result and you have the correct result we're going to click in cell G 18 and you guessed it that's right equal sum open paren we're going to click on the highest number and times on your keyboard is shift eight so shift eight and then click on the lowest number and then press enter and you have the correct result we're going to click in cell i18 and what is it that's right equal sum open paren equal sum open paren click on the highest number and we're going to divide so the divide the division sign is where the question mark is so click on that and then click on your lowest number and then press enter very good now at the bottom of your excel workbook you have different tabs okay so we're going to click on the add tab so what I want you to do is to add every column. So you're going to click in the first cell, which is B11. And you know what column to add because it says total. And next to the total, there's a blank cell. So you, that's where you're going to put your result. Okay. So I'm going to add this together the easy way. So I'm going up to my editing group and I'm clicking on auto sum. Now I can just click in the middle of auto sum. And it will give me the result. You can see that it added all of my cells together 
from cell B5 to cell B10 and it tells you right here in the formula bar it's adding from cell B5 to B10 and it actually put some in there this is why I put some in but you don't have to do that and then just press enter on your keyboard let's do it one more time click in cell E 11 go up to the editing group click on the auto sum right in the middle of it and then press enter on your keyboard and you have the result now I want you to finish this entire page once you finish this entire page adding all of your columns together you're going to go to the next tab which is subtract and you're going to subtract all of the information that I have on this page so let's do one equal sum open paren click on the highest number press the subtract key on your keyboard click on the next number subtract key on your keyboard and so forth and so on until you have subtracted all of the numbers okay and once you have subtracted all of the numbers on the last number you just press that last number or cell I'm saying numbers because it's easier for you to um, understand what I'm talking about if I say numbers and then press enter and you'll have your result okay and if I want to check the result I just go right back into the result click into the result and you see it has subtracted from B5 all the way down to B10 and that's correct this is column B and this is row 5 this is column B again and this is row 10 okay so now what I want you to do is subtract all all everything on this page okay Sub subtract everything on this page then we're going to go to multiply and you're going to multiply the same exact way you see I've already uncompleted one so we're going to click in cell E4 so equal sum open paren clicking on the highest number shift 8 is my multiply and then I'm clicking on the lowest number and I'm pressing enter okay there you go so I need you to finish this entire page as well and then you have divide okay the division is fairly simple just like the rest of this uh, workbook okay so I'm clicking in cell B4 and I'm saying equal sum open paren clicking on 42 I'm going down on my keyboard where the uh, question mark is and I'm pressing that and then I'm clicking on the lowest number and I'm pressing enter to get the result I need you to finish all of your division all the problems on your division page and we can go to functions now functions this the sum is the same as adding so you know how to add so let's go over average so in cell D17 what we're going to do is go to the editing group go up to the auto sum function and say average and then press enter okay so what did I do I'm going to do it again so you can see exactly what I did I'm clicking in cell D17 I'm going up to the editing function I'm clicking the drop down arrow for auto sum I am then clicking on the command average and then on my keyboard I'm clicking enter for the result all right okay we have max and the max is the same thing that we're going to do we're going to go up to the editing group editing group and click on the auto sum drop down arrow we're going to say max click on max and then we're going to press enter on our keyboard okay and minimum what we're going to do is the same exact thing again we're going to go to editing the editing group go up to auto sum click on the drop down arrow and then go down to men minimum and then press enter all right have fun and i'll see you in the next lesson don't forget you have to finish the test add subtract multiply and divide and your answers will come your total answer for the uh row 14 will will have your you'll have the result right here all right forgive me for um not speaking as clearly as i usually it is about 4 50 in the morning and i'm trying to get this all done before seeing you in class have a great day bye bye